After three rounds of Auto Salon, a handful of cars were vying for the ultimate title of God of Auto Salon. Matt Seeley's evil GSR leading the charge. The question was, could the others close the gap? I think the people have really um, looked at their game and got to the, I guess, understanding that it's a series and people have got to develop their cars over the year. So some people come out here with some really crazy ideas on cars that we thought were already at their maximum or the end. So I think people have shown a lot of creativity and imagination. It's been really good. I was going for a chocolate brown, aka poo brown. It's based on a PPG radiance colour, but um, we've manipulated it quite a bit. Well, we were going to make it work no matter what, eh? We did quite a few test panels and whatnot to try and make it work, and I finally came up with a combination that we liked. I put some clear glass around the whole car. She used to have a factory tinted glass, we put it all clear. Uh, bigger brakes, set a set of big brakes on it now. Just a few little modifications in the engine bay, a few more little tweaks, bigger turbo. What changes have you made since the last time we've seen the car? Uh, I've just changed the factory gauges to auto meter and we've um, redone the, the floor, the boot well. And uh, I hear you went pretty well on the dyno? Yeah, 241 kilowatts of the wheels, it's pretty cool. We've got a new intercooler from Race Radiators. We've also done a uh, dyno from Performance Meter Works has done a little bit of work on the intercooler for us and fitted all that up. Um, Simon from um, Exclusive Panel Paint has basically taken all the ripples out of the doors. And um, yeah, that's about it. All we changed for this show. Yeah, I've changed the um, changed the mags now. I've got rid of the old 18 inch Fajeros. Um, got some new 18 by 8 um, dreads, which there's only three sets in the country. Uh, also put an S14 engine in it. It was actually quite easy. Had to change the engine mounts, drive shaft, and gearbox mounts, and uh, mount the intercooler and a few other things here and there. So remounted the bags in the front to put them underneath because uh, just wasn't enough room in the bay. So. So, Todd, you're coming second in the series so far. What have you been up to in the uh, times between the shows? Um, we've made a full new firewall from Slam Customs, seam welded all the engine bay, filled in every hole in, in there as well, and uh, also de-loomed the whole car. So the engine bay is starting to look a bit better than it did. Um, also, new front bumper on there, and a new rear wing, so it's looking a bit different. How do you think you've gone here today? I heard you had a bit of trouble on the dyno. Yeah, the uh, clutch died on the dyno. It should, in theory, put out 340 kilowatts of the wheels, but um, as soon as it came on boost, it just slipped, so we got to 166 before it was game over. Dropped the boost to try and get around it, but it just didn't work, it's all over. So that stuff happens, I guess. Here we have Matt Seeley, who's currently leading the championship. Um, Matt, what have you been up to since the last show? Well, uh, we didn't really do a whole lot to the car this time, but we have changed the tail lights. We've mounted some small six inch TVs into the tail lights and uh, I've had a bit of play with the front and rear brakes, so we've, we've got some custom rotors that I put together, um, some full pot wheel with calipers, braided lines, and uh, just a general tidy up on the car to, to get it all ready. What's your plans for the car after the show? Um, well, I'm looking forward to the end of the series, and uh, my, my partner, Caro, she's gonna take it out on the drag strip, and we're gonna just cane the living daylights out of it, so. The top cars really have just done some crazy things. We had Matt, who's done some radical things with brakes, Felgen's done some crazy body things, colour. People have just been blown away across the board, I think. But I think uh, those in the know will have a pretty good idea of who's going to take it out. Felgen's revamped STI made it a tough battle, but an avalanche of different categories went the way of the evil GSR. No surprise then, who was the 2004 God of Auto Salon? One of the best things about Auto Salon is the people you meet. Yoshi and his Odyssey are new arrivals from Japan, where they were regulars on the show scene. Um, I made, I designed the, the carbon bonnet and the whole body kit and uh, some uh, vinyl decor stickers. You got a lot of stereo in there. How many TV screens have you got? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six TV yes. screens. First of all, I designed to, the, some, to win the convention in Japan. Yeah. So I put the front seat is as hi-fi, hi and middle system is as a CR system, and the real one is a boom-boom thing. Yeah. <laughs> Yoshi took a handful of prizes, including top judge driver attitude. This stunning lowrider caddy obviously wasn't eligible for any of the mainstream awards, but it did catch the eye of all the promo girls. They voted it the Bachelor of Babes. Grant, mate, first of all, what a slick ride. Yeah, it's a 1964 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. Um, it's been lowered, airbags, um, full audio system, four subs in the boots, as you can see. Uh, 1,000 watt monoblock amps and um, multimedia all the way through. What's this shiny little thing here? Um, it's like a nice bottle to me. It's not actually nice, it's actually the, the tank for the airbags. So um, 
Well, the car's so long, the, you know, the wheelbase is so long, it's got to go up and down over Jadaba, so um, that's why we put the airbag system in. And there was plenty of evidence of girl power at the show, the Girl Speed Club out in force. Kind of tell me about Girl Speed. Um, Girl Speed was a club that was formed in 2001, been going strong ever since. We just like getting together as girls and sticking it to the boys pretty much, yeah. Some of us do racing, drag racing, drifting, sh uh, shows like this. But this was one show where Girl Speed were outdone by a new all-girl car club, the Jenna Sisters from South Auckland. What's been the highlight of the show today? Oh, it has to be us being here for the first time, entering a bit of girl power. Hello. So how did the Genesis has come about? Well actually it came from um, well, me being a club member with the Chosen Few car club. We're the female side actually of the Chosen Few but Genesis just means the beginning or the creation of the sisters. As you can probably guess the Genesis just took out the prize for club with attitude.